In this video, we take a look at how to apply a quasi-permanent hair colour. This could either be a regrowth or a full head application, depending on the client's needs. First, we need to establish the client's requirements with a consultation. It may help to use visual aids, such as magazines or a colour chart, to be clear on your client's exact requirements. Before you make any recommendations, consider the client's lifestyle. For example, if they are very busy, then a high maintenance service may not be suitable. Take into account your client's skin tone, age, personality and dress sense, as well as their hair characteristics, such as the existing depth and tone. Also, the presence of any white or grey hairs. Look out for any contraindications during the hair and scalp analysis. Test the elasticity and porosity of the hair. More porous hair will need less development time or you may select a colour product more suited to this hair type. Poor elasticity can be a contraindication to any treatment. Check for any psoriasis or eczema as well as any lumps, moles, cuts or abrasions. Ask if the client is aware of any such skin conditions. Applying a chemical treatment could be very painful if any open wounds or skin conditions are present. Any colouring treatment requires a skin test 48 hours prior to the service depending on manufacturer's instructions as well as the usual elasticity and porosity test. Ask the client about any previous chemical treatments and carry out an incompatibility test if required to ensure there will not be a reaction. Remember to record your client's responses. Protective clothing is essential for you and your client. You must wear gloves to protect from contact dermatitis and a plastic apron to protect your clothes. Protect the client's clothing with a gown and a towel. It is important to mix colours in a well-ventilated area, always following the manufacturer's instructions. Use a trolley to put your equipment and your colour on, so you do not need to stretch or reach for your tools. Divide the hair into sections and apply the colour using a tint brush. Make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions for application. Today we are performing a full head application. Remove any colour from the client's face or ears with stain remover. Check to make sure every part of the hair is coloured and ensure air can circulate around the hair by using the end of the tint brush to lift and separate the hair in its completed sections. Rinse the client's hair, making sure to test the water temperature on your wrist first. Massage to emulsify the hair. Rinse the hair, making sure to check the temperature of the water with the client. Repeat emulsifying and rinsing as needed. Next, shampoo and condition using the appropriate massage technique. Finally, blow dry your client's hair and complete the service. Remember to provide aftercare advice for the client on the best way to maintain their new hair colour, such as product recommendations and the ideal time until their next salon visit.